Hey everyone, a quick video on interconnects here. I had a post uh, yesterday on Wednesday, January 7th, that was very visual, essentially going through all of our data that we scraped for Hugging Face in order to understand the open ecosystem and giving a sort of status update on the state of affairs in eight simple plots. So the first plots that you will see here are plots of downloads of Hugging Face on Hugging Face over time. If you don't know, Hugging Face is a platform where you go and you can access models and data sets. And anytime a human or an automated system tries to download any of these files or at read any of these files, it counts as a download on Hugging Face. So what we do is we go to the top model providers like Quen. We can go to any Quen model here. We can go to Llama and we can take the downloads over time for these models on Hugging Face. And what we do is we build a picture of the open ecosystem. We first started doing this for the Atom project, which is when we knew the Chinese models were dominating and we wanted to make these plots to make the case for why we need to invest in the open ecosystem in the US. And at the highest level, last summer, when we had the likes of Minimax, GLM, Quen, all these people releasing new models, um, the Chinese ecosystem actually overtook the U.S. And what we're seeing is that this gap is actually continuing to accelerate. So this is the first gap is overall is showing this Chinese models are, start, are, are continuing to grow as the most adopted models over the U.S. And we look at who is doing this. This is primarily Quen. One of the interesting tidbits is that Llama, despite having no really successful launches in 2025, here we are in 2026, is still by far and away the most downloaded per month model within the US. So this is kind of holding up the US ecosystem, but it's increasingly precarious because Llama is not releasing new models, and this is mostly older deployments that are getting usage. We see this red line with Quen that is continuing to go faster and faster with their tons of models. And some of the older players, Mistral, and DeepSeek are still around, and one of the impressive breakout players is OpenAI. And if you've been following the open ecosystem, you know about the names DeepSeek and OpenAI, especially from January 2025 of last year. But this year was really characterized by releases from the likes of Z.AI, uh, NVIDIA, Kimi Moonshot, Minimax, and these new labs that are releasing models that are honestly better than what DeepSeek has been releasing this year. And when we look at adoption, the big story is that in adoption metrics, these models haven't been breaking through as much. I think there's one place where you could look, which is the open router rankings, where you could see that some of these open models are really used. And we're going to incorporate more of this data soon. But in terms of the metrics that the open ecosystem has been using for a long time, these new players are having a hard time displacing Quen, Llama, DeepSeek, these names that you've heard about for multiple years now. And it is impressive that OpenAI with their two models with GPT OSS at 20 and 120 B parameters is actually measure, very measurable across all these metrics. And that is something that a lot of people aren't taking seriously. And I hope OpenAI releases more models because they're one of the only providers that has made this. NVIDIA releases a lot of models, but hasn't gotten this adoption follow through yet. And I mean, personally, I build models and I haven't seen this level of adoption either. So OpenAI, please follow through. And then another interesting finding is that Quen, while we see Quen on these lines here, Quen is by far and away the most dominant player in the open ecosystem, releasing tons of models at tons of sizes. They have not been able to break through at this deep, Seek scale, 100 billion, 600 billion parameter model, where DeepSeek has way more downloads. So like hundreds of times more downloads for these big models, where DeepSeek is pretty much only releasing big models in order to be measurable in this plot. This is DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek V3 with their two versions. And this is very surprising, where Quen is known as being the king of adoption in the open ecosystem. And the fact that there is still this weakness in big models, where other big models have been uptake in a lot more is, is really telling. But at the same time, at the small model scale, this Quen small models are absolutely dominating the rest of the ecosystem. Here are the five Quen 3 models are between 0.6B and 4B parameters. So the smallest Quen B models that people can deploy in automation, can fine tune for their own use cases, get downloaded more times in, per month, so this is just for December, than all the models released recently from OpenAI, Mistral, NVIDIA, Z.AI, Minimax, 
and Kimmy Moonshot combined. So if you're following the ecosystem, that is a lot of players that is just getting, they're just getting crushed in adoption by Quen. And if you look at all of Quen's models across Quen 3, Quen 2.5, the multimodal models, Quen is downloaded more than every competitor we're tracking in the open ecosystem in the month of December. So if we go back to these two plots, if we look at every single player on this, these are cumulative plots. If we just look at the month of December, Quen is getting more downloads than all of them, which is really remarkable and shows how hard it will be to unstick Quen. I want to see more diversity of models and other, especially models in the US, be able to compete with this if we want to own the AI research ecosystem in the future. Um, mostly just because we want to have the talent pipeline, our companies be used to using these models and people that can build on them very easily. I, I think that is something that is not too expensive for the US to do and we really should. Another metric we have for Quinn is um, looking at how many models on Hugging Face are fine-tuned from each base model. So if we go through a Quen 3 model here, what you can do on Hugging Face is you can look at the number of fine tunes that each model has. So this model, Quen 3 0.6b, has been fine-tuned over 500 times. So if we go through all of the models on Hugging Face and filter out some of the the noisy fine tunes, we see that Quen is by far and away the most downloaded, most fine tuned base models. And it's continued to increase over the summer of 2025 when we had all these new players from China coming in. So the Quen consolidation here is really remarkable. And I think in a year, it'll be very interesting to see who can outcompete them in adoption a bit. And to conclude, it's important for people to realize that the top open models in terms of intelligence are still coming from China. Here's an artifi updated artificial analysis index, which is a composite of about eight leading edge evaluations. And pretty much however you slice it, the Chinese open models at the top end have been smarter than the US and the rest of the world for a long time. And I bet we could find the LM Arena top 10 open models twi tweet as well, where they show this, the top 10 open models by provider. And it's China, Kimmy, China, DeepSeek, China, Quen, China, Minimax. And then number five is Gemma from Google, which is a very old model. This is an old tweet too, by the way. But this is what we're looking at. Where all the top models are Chinese. So this was a quick post. If you like this stuff, please like and subscribe. We have a lot of data from literally scraping all of Hugging Face and taking all of these download data, downloads and metadata from all the models and data sets. So if there's questions you have, please reach out. Again, we're using this for this Atom project, which is American Truly Open Models project. And really the time is now to invest in the scientific ecosystem in the US because while open models will stay open and cross borders, we want to be in control of our own innovation stack and AI research really is going to be that important. So thanks for watching this visual summary of eight plots that explain the state of open models. And we're going to have a lot more in exciting 2026. Peace.